hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is going to be one of my budgeting videos I do some cash budgeting so that it's out of sight out of mind and I can set this money aside for certain sinking funds that I want to save up for so we are going to start off with all of these things today it is pretty special because I have some leftover um, money that I have been saving and wanted to go ahead and separate it into specific categories. So we are going to start with a total of 861 and go by each envelope and see how much we end up with in every one. And then I'm also going to be coloring my little savings challenges which if you don't know, I've made these for myself. It is a little money bag. There's 25 on each page. I just make it very basic. The date that I want to save it by, the item, I write which amount is equal to a bag so that I can color them in as I go and see how far I've gone. And then the total here. So if I need any extras, I'll pull from that. But other than, that, other than that, let's get started. So we are on taxes first. And it looks like we've already got cash in here. So debt is um, also some personal loans and things, but I am not going to stuff those today. For taxes, it is $16 each. And I'd like to save this up by next tax season. So we are going to put in four dollars. So one, two, three, four for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And since it doesn't equal 16 yet, I'm not going to color in one, but I am getting close a little bit at a time. Next is going to be budget. So these are very basic labels. I would like to get specific ones once I save up enough money for a Cricut or buy some individualized labels. But for now, I am saving for a Cricut and I am saving for a camera and a tripod because right now I am currently filming under my um, iPhone and I would like it to be a little bit, a little bit better quality for you guys. But today, camera is going to get $5, and it needs 27, so we'll set that aside. And then Cricut is going to get 40. Now Cricut gets 10 for each bag, so I get to color in four bags today. And these are reusable ones because I laminated them. So I'm really happy that I can reuse these, but there's plenty to print if I don't want to use laminated. This is just a visual way of me to see my progress and get it really, it helps me get excited to save because I have had the habit of spending in the past and I'd like to get excited about saving things. So we have that one done. So budget is basically like my business items for now, but I'd like to um, put it in a different category very soon. So for pet care, pet care is going to be vet for my cat Oliver. He is a Maine Coon and he's only three years old. Um, I've adopted him and he gets shots in January. So I'm only going to do $8 today. I already have 20. So I have $8 for each bag and 16 total. And so I have four left over. So I made this to, yeah, let's go ahead and do the eight and we'll just have a little bit left over for the next time 
to color in another bag. But uh, today I get to color in a bag. Let's do blue. Alrighty. That is done. So social activities is going to be my birthday. My friends want to take me to Eufaula. We just went to Broken Bow, which was super fun. Um, I put a video on my TikTok and we decided to do a camping trip this year. <clears throat> Birthday is going to get $24. And for that one, I don't have my savings challenge. Where did it go? I put it in vacation, I think, on accident. So let me grab that real quick. Yeah, I put it in vacation because a vacation to Eufaula seems appropriate. But for activities, I think I'm going to separate it. So this one has $4 each for each money bag. $24. We're going to color six bags today. And this one is not laminated. So I'm going to use markers and just toss it when I'm done. I am thinking about putting these up with my digital planner to sell on my own website. So that will be coming very soon. I'll just fast forward this so we can move on to the next. Okay, so we have six for my birthday. So again, we're going camping and we're gonna be roughing it outside. So it's not gonna be as much money. So I really don't have to save that much and it's in August. So that is going to be a month of savings away, I should say about six weeks. Um, Cause today is July 1st. So car maintenance. I decided to do car maintenance in three categories. We have car registration, tires, and oil changes for a full year's worth that I want to save up by um, for next year. And um, I guess all three of these are going to be saved for next year because I already did my, I'm doing my registration this month out of pocket and then tires I'll probably won't need tires until next summer or spring so let's see what we already have in here we have 20 40 1 2 3 4 5 and we have done $32 in tires and $12 in oil change and I decided to do another 32 in tires another 12 in oil change which equals $44 and then I am going to put six dollars in car registration so we've got 20 40 50 and I don't have to split this up because it's all gonna go back in the bank anyway um, that's why I like to split it up here so I can see what I'm saving for specifically and how much I need left. I'm just really organizational that way. So we'll do one bag for each. And I know you're saying, well, you have $6 here. Why aren't you doing two? But um, 360 was the exact amount. And I think I can put some change in here or the leftover amount once I'm done, but I don't want to put a, a color in a bag unless it is that actual amount so that I am fully saving for that because, you know, car registration and whatever I put on there, it's 
going to be exactly what I need pretty much. I'm not the kind of person to uh, overestimate or um, just say, oh well, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I want to be like very precise and detailed so that I am not missing anything. So I'll probably color one next time, but that's all right. I can do this today, which is so much fun. I love coloring these in. It's kind of relaxing and it gives me a sense of like ah, release of like knowing I'm putting my money somewhere that's that actually like matters and um, it's not being wasted. So that's why I'm doing this. So car maintenance is done. We are going to go to the fun category. Now this one I have saving up for an, a new iMac. Excuse me. Um, I am in a future date going to purchase a new phone and a new watch but right now those are going on the back burner because both of my phone and watch work great and I have no anticipation of doing it in the next like year or two so we're going to keep those there but iMac is going to get 267 dollars now i might have to pull out my calculator to see how many bags that is but each bag gets 67 dollars so let's see how much so we are going to do three bags today where we almost made it to four but i didn't quite get enough in there um actually i might have extra money to do three. 200, no, no, no. I wanted to do four bags. So 67 times four. Oh, 268. Yeah, I have a dollar. I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, the bank teller kind of didn't give me all of the tenders that I wanted because they didn't have 50s and stuff, so I set some money aside, but a dollar is great. I can do four bags today. That is so exciting. I already have one, and the reason why I don't have any money in here is because I, I put it in a separate account, and at the end of the week, I'm going to color them in with you, but I am going to put it in the bank immediately, so for the sake of today, I will do cash, which is 268 for four bags. Five, six, seven, eight. But all of this money will be deposited into a separate account that I have for manifestations and like things I'm praying for to be funded. So that's where that will go. But four bags today, so happy about that. I am ready to get a new iMac, like, let me get organized here. I am um, currently working from my iPad because my laptops were outdated and the one I got was, was a Chromebook and then it outdated again and it didn't have things I needed. And I was really disappointed about that because I had just bought it two years ago, but that's okay. I am going back to Apple products. I've been really happy with Apple products. They last me so many years and I am not planning on upgrading to the next one and the next one and the next one. So I'm okay with saving up this money um, to pay cash and it'll be a long-term investment in my YouTube channel, editing, online business, things like that. So for now, the iPad works and my really, really old iMac works, but it was like literally a junk iMac from a school auction that my friend gave me for a really good price. Like literally it was like really cheap. Um, and I just can't handle the fact that it doesn't, um, have what I need on the update so we've got this and oh my gosh looking at those five bags just makes me so happy 
So we'll put that away, deposit it tomorrow or Monday because today's Friday and Monday's 4th of July. So it'll probably be Tuesday. Um, next, <clears throat> personal. Personal is going to be a lot of different things here. I have made a ton of lists inside of my envelopes to tell me what things are just to keep track because I have such a bad memory. Anyway, um, monthly purchases are going to be things that I need for my cat, like litter and food and automatic payments that come out from Amazon for necessities like medicine or vitamins or I don't know, toiletries. But I do have, I decided to make a separate makeup one because my makeup can and face like face lotion and things can be a little pricey to to keep looking good and then medicine is separate now and toiletries right there so that's all of those another personal necessity um, is going to be a mattress. I really need a mattress. I've had mine for, you know, 10 plus years. It's really old, so I'm going to save for that today. I am not going to save for medical this time around. Um, that is backup if I need to, to um, pay for a copay or something like that. <coughs> and then Dina McGee, I have a yearly eye appointment. I have to go to a specialist because I had um, a disease in, not a disease, but something that happened in my eye that they have to check every year and I'm fine, but you know, it's, it's pricey. Um, they have to do tests and stuff. So Dina McGee, I'm good on that one until next May, I think. So I'm not going to do that one, but chiropractor, I want to put some money in there keep that up to date and be ahead. I always want to work, be working toward being ahead. So this one I did already for the month of July. So this monthly purchases will be month of August, like you've seen, and I'm going to set that aside. So yeah, I made a bunch of notes there, but, um, I have, duh, duh, duh not face, not toiletries, not medicine, but I am going to do monthly purchases, chiropractor and mattress. So let's get those colored in. Monthly purchases is going to be $12. So I get to color in three today. So we have 10, 11, 12, and this one is not laminated. I can do three. So this one's done. Mattress is going to be getting $200 because I want to buy one ASAP. And again, this probably will go in the bank because I don't like keeping this much cash around. But we do get to color in a quite a bit today. Twelve bags. I'm definitely speeding that up. Okay, that is going to be half and I don't have a date because I want to get it done ASAP. So that is going to be for the mattress and then we have the chiropractor. Chiropractor is going to get $18. So 
we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we don't have to color anything in because it's 36 for a bag. So got all of that taken care of. And then this extra cash was, what was it for? I didn't put it down yet. I didn't put it down yet. 20, 40. Oh, that must have been for mattress. Okay. So. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this is for purchases. Oh, no, this is for, I know what this is for. This is for the monthly purchases. I am going to keep that in there. So that's why I kept that little card in there so I could remember. Otherwise I was gonna put it with mattress. This one's getting really thick because it's a lot of things. Okay, personal is done. Moving on, I have to flip this around. Beauty is going to be my hair right now. I really want to get my nails done so it will be pretty for you guys. Um, and I love getting my nails done, but I'm going to focus on my hair for the school year when I start teaching. I'm a teacher, um, assistant teacher, and I'm getting my bachelor's in teaching early childhood. So I would like to get my highlights redone or go back to my natural color because it is half brown, half blonde, and I'm a brunette. But anyway. Beauty is going to get $30, 20, 30. Sorry if this is super long. You guys can fast forward if you want. I'm just really um, taking my time here for my first video. And we just had five. So we've got 35. And I think I'll start writing the actual amount um, on a separate page for next time. Clothing, I've put my... Um, gift cards in there so that I can remember to spend those as well but I'm not gonna put very much because I do have some Kohl's gift cards and TG Maxx so we put five and we have 15 and excuse me that is gonna be for work clothes and church clothes and then also can include shoes next is going to be vacation and I'm going to focus on my graduation trip I would love to get that saved for quickly because graduation is literally like a year away and I want to take my sister and my mom and dad with me to walk across the stage and I know this is a big goal. Um, it's okay if it doesn't all happen, like if I don't save all of it, but I would like that to be priority right now. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 105. So we have 105 and we can color one of our bags today. The other ones are a beach vacation, which is just in general, if someone decides to say, hey, let's go on a beach vacation, I'll be like, yeah, I've got the money, let's go. And then the um, East Coast train trip is something that I've really wanted to do with someone who also has the summers off just take a month and like take train trains around the east coast and just visit visit all the culture there like I mean all the history not the culture all the history um, but we'll save those for a later day graduation and if you hear the squeaking or the creaking that is my chair it is a little rack ratchet or r rickety rickety yeah it's rickety <laughs> so that's what you're hearing sorry about that but I'm super excited that I can just put aside these things I mean this is so practical for myself personally I just love seeing all this stuff getting taken care of um so obviously this is not all of my bills like I decided that sinking funds was a perfect way of setting cash aside and then I would do most of my bills on automatic payments and online so you guys don't see all my bills but um, the bills are set aside first and then that's what the sinking funds are um, left over so family is gonna get five and I did want to do a huge chunk 
for my first time. I do have some videos on like TikTok and stuff. Family has 25 um, that had small increments of money, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it all at once and then I can get on a cons consistent schedule to show you guys the actual amounts because it is low income, but it's just exciting to do a lot all at once. So Christmas is going to get $8. Five, six, seven, eight. And Christmas always already has 20, which makes it 28. So, is that right? 25, 6, 7, 8. I colored in two, 8 times 2, 16. Um, 28. I. I think, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's another bag. I'm not even gonna, I already did all the math. So we just have a little buffer there like we did before in the other envelope at the beginning, but another, another bag colored in, like so easy. Working hard for this money makes me feel so satisfied, <laughs> makes me feel so satisfied about putting it away and getting it done. Okay, I'm gonna say that a lot because I'm really, really excited. Um, bills. Bills are actually yearly subscriptions. And again, we're not gonna do anything today. We already put aside, let's see what we have. Let's see, $35 makes the bag and I only have 25. I wonder if I have 10, 10 dollars in here. I could do 10. Oh yeah, I have 10. Okay, I had extra 10. Let's color in a bag. Love coloring in bags. I also, not like, not to be very talkative, because I know this is a long video, but not to be <laughs> just keep telling you about my life but you know while we fill the silence uh 35 yeah so I not only work at a school during the school year I did summer school this year which was pretty good and we just finished so that will be an extra paycheck that I can actually put in a video and also I have um I work at Amazon four nights a week and I get paid every Friday so that is another nice thing about making more videos is I get more streams of income. Um, actually, it's not more streams, it's just different days that I can play the videos as I get my two incomes. So, all right, 5,000 challenge. So I have $105 that I wanna put in here. I feel like I did something wrong or I added too much money because I have two dollars left over but we'll just set that aside for the next video that's okay but for this this last one this is my savings um, challenge and I had to take from it this year and I wasn't happy about it and I think that's what um, started me on the path to do all of these envelopes and organize and just motivated to save things for certain things. And this one is going to total out to $5,000. So I have two cards here and each bag is going to be $100. So pretty simple. I am going to color in one bag. So we are paying ourselves back for that one. Ah, <sighs> feels good to put money back in there. And th it had no, um, I don't think it had a label on it. Yeah, this was the one without a label. I need to put a label on it. Because I love labels. 
But anyway, that is my um, stuffing for the first time. I didn't have to use any placeholders, obviously. I just made some very simple $500,000 placeholders whenever I get to that point. And I've got extra savings challenges uh, cards. So I'm just really thankful that you watched this video and um, you are budgeting with me, hopefully. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll leave my um, my TikTok and my um, Instagram and all the all the things down in the description box. So I appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend of July 4th. Enjoy it. Be safe. And um, I, I want you to know that you're loved and you are known and seen and just have a great time and I'll see you next time. Bye.